Hey, I'm Rob, and we're going to check out this ceramic horn by Steve Smead. I have this ceramic horn by Steve Smead this week. It's very cool. Some viewers last week mentioned something about ceramic horns, and I was actually looking into some, uh, some new art for my walls, and I came across a whole series of these ceramic horns by artist Steve Smead. Now, it's been kind of difficult to get my hands on normal horns more recently, considering the pandemic is still a thing. I mean, I'm cautious about trying to get my hands on other people's instruments because who knows what people are blowing into it, where people have been, whose hands the horn has touched, stuff like that. So I'm starting to go into a bit more obscure and unusual and just more weird horns that are not so traditional. So that brings me to this now. This is a ceramic horn by Steve Smead. It's quite large. It's a pretty good size here. This is my hand. With the size of this also comes a considerable amount of weight, which I was pretty surprised about. This was made in 1986. You can see the date it was made here. The, I believe this is the number he made. This would have been number 103. And you can see his signature right there, Smeed. You can also see his signature right down here. It says Smeed. This is a little uh, cork stopper, I guess, to if you wanted to put it down on something. Take a look at the body here. So you have the bell here, which is a good four or five inches, I'd say. As you can see, the porcelain inside has deformed a little bit while it was drying and curing. Kind of just take a good look at it here. It's very whimsical, a lot of bright colors, very uh, pastel-like. We've got the mouthpiece here. It has another number, looks like number 20. Not sure what that refers to. Very pretty though. Good look at the mouthpiece there. It's cupped like a trumpet mouthpiece. It comes with this little string to hang it by. And I've done some research and it looks like all of Steve Smead's horns hang on the wall and they all come with a hanging string. So it's very strong and secure. I've had it on the wall already for a little while now. And something that's very unusual about his horns is that they are all completely playable. I found a little blurb online that I'm gonna read about him. This is the closest to a bio that I could find about him. It says, Steve Smead, ceramic artist and potter in Oregon who specializes in unique and functional porcelain horns. His porcelain horns are joyfully decorative and they can be played as well and you can find audio samples on his site. Unfortunately, I was not able to find his website or audio samples, but I am able to actually give it a blow. So these things are a little awkward to hold, especially this one, because where the mouthpiece is, is super short. So when you go to hold it up, this bit down here kind of pops into your chest. So I find the best way to hold it is with my left hand, kind of up here around the bell tail, and then my right hand down here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a listen, see what it sounds like. Just some final thoughts. I think it's a really beautiful piece of art. It's cool because it actually plays. It's definitely a fun thing to be able to put on your wall and, and pull it off and be like, hey, I got a playable ceramic horn. Definitely has that novelty factor. So I'm very happy to, to say that I own a piece of art, a piece of functional art by Steve Smead. That's all. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next week.